awesome God, mighty King, you make our lives an offering, and nothing can or ever will come between the love we share. We set our eyes upon the beauty of your face.
lifted high in praise, and it's you we adore, singing. driving over here, I was just thinking of faith, and actually faith has been on my heart all week, that we would uh, chase out unbelief, <laughs> and chase out the lack of faith, and that we would encourage, and we would foster and nurture faith. You can do that. Part of the reason of reading scripture as we come to this moment is that we just generate faith as we enter into prayer. And I keep thinking of Hebrews 11, 6. You know, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. If you come to Him, you must believe that He is who He says that He is and that He's a rewarder of those who seek Him. I was thinking this evening in Romans 10. Verse 17, so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So we're producing faith right now. We're generating that right now. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. 2 Timothy 2, beginning in verse 23 of chapter 2. Who, when he was reviled, did not revile in return when he suffered. He did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judged righteously, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Emphasis on were. <laughs> by whose stripes you were healed. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And when we pray, I can just tell you about every time I pray for healing, that's one of the scriptures I quote. I quote that in that prayer, in the midst of that prayer, that by His stripes we are healed. We are healed. So, Father, we come to you right now in this moment, Father, that just obeying your scripture, your word says, if anyone is sick, uh, let him come and have the elders anoint them with oil and pray for them. And 
Your word says that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And Father, we uh, are coming tonight just in obedience to your word and to scripture. And Father, for those that are coming with a need, a physical need, an, an ailment of some kind, Father, Lord, your word says, as we've just read, by your stripes we are healed. And in that atonement, what you did upon the cross and that blood that was shed and poured out, our healing is in that. That by your stripes we are healed. We have been healed already. So we thank you, Father, for that. And so, Father, we want to come together in this moment and pray prayers of faith. We ask, Father, just as we have been praising you in this moment, that, that this atmosphere is purged by the praises of your people that are just declaring your goodness and how awesome that you are. Your word says that you inhabit the praises of your people. So that means that you are here. You are here inhabiting this place. You are here. Your presence is here. So Father, we just want to see what you're doing and participate in what you're doing. You have, you have moved upon the hearts of each one that is here tonight. Everyone that is here tonight is supposed to be here tonight. And we know that. And so, Father, we just want to stand together in agreement tonight in prayer and see your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. If you need healing, I want you to come. Make a line here. and We will come and pray for you. Anybody that needs healing.
We're standing in agreement for several people tonight. Um, we're praying for uh, Miss Elizabeth. Um, I saw her today, and she has zero pain. They have not gotten the pathology reports back yet um, to know if it's invasive or not. So we need to pray for her. She's at perfect peace. And um, we need to pray for Rosa Cunningham. She got a bad report today. But we're believing for her. And um, we need to pray for our Janita Lovelace. She's doing well. She had the tubes removed. And right now she is cancer free, so we're praising God for that. Anyone else that y'all call out their names? And our Barbara Debato, she, I saw her this week. She's doing great. Just getting her strength. We need to pray for her strength. She'll be starting physical therapy soon. Well, Lord, we come before you. And we pray for Maureen, Lucy Daigle's niece, um, who was pushed out of a car and is, is in critical condition right now with brain injuries. Father, we lift up your children to you, God. And we say you are well able. You are well able. One touch, Father. One touch. And these, our, our brothers and sisters are healed. Father, we ask that by the stripes of Jesus, Lord, that you will touch them, that you will touch Maureen, that you will touch Rosa, Barbara, Elizabeth, Janita, Sarah, Liz, Judy, all of these that we have been standing in the gap for and believing and believing. Angela, dear God, Lord. Father, we thank you that you are well able to say, Father, and your arm is not too short. Father, dear God, we pray that you will do this for your glory and your renown, dear Lord. We pray for our brother, um, John Paul Jackson. We pray for his perfect healing, dear God, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you, none of these situations caught you by surprise, Father. And Lord, we extend our faith on behalf of these, dear God, and we claim their healing we say they are covered in the blood of the lamb and they will overcome by the word of their testimony in the blood of the lamb and not loving their life unto death we claim that for our brothers and sisters and we just thank you father that you are faithful you are faithful to meet every need dear god and we praise you for it in jesus name Anybody have something to share before we go? I know Tracy does. Yeah. Tracy, do you have anything? <laughs> <laughs> the city approved us to occupy the trailers. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hallelujah. <laughs> so we'll be setting up for that and going with as planned Sunday. Plan A. Yeah, we had a B plan. Um, Mary Taylor. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Well, we pray for Mary right now, Lord God, that you would touch Mary, Father, touch her eye. We, I ask you, Lord, that if she gets there tomorrow, that they'll, they'll find the work is already done because you've touched her right now. I ask you to do that in Jesus' name. Be with her. Lord, any discomfort that she might have been experiencing, Father, you would just heal that and take away any discomfort and just protect her vision and protect everything there, Father. We pray it in your precious holy name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Ted. I just felt impressed to read this to the people that are watching. This is from uh, Matthew 9, verse 18 and on. It says, While he was talking, um, talking this way to them, behold, a ruler entered and kneeling down worshipped him, saying, My daughter has just now died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will come to life.
And Jesus got up and accompanied him with his disciples. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a flow of blood for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. For she kept saying to herself, If I only touch his garment, I shall be restored to health. Jesus turned around and seeing her, he said, Take courage, daughter, your faith has made you well. And at once the woman was restored to health. And when Jesus came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making an uproar and din, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed and jeered at him. But when the crowd had been ordered to go outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. Like it. <laughs> Amen. Well, anything else? Yes, sir. This isn't about healing, but uh, <clears throat> as I was sitting there uh, praising with you, God gave me this, and it kind of goes along with what we were sharing in class Sunday morning. I had a scripture um, that I wanted to read in class, and it was in Acts chapter 1, 14, where it says they were gathered together in one accord. Mm -hmm. And I was getting ready to start sharing out of the book and share about that, and I felt impressed just to ask, is there a word for the body, for quail? And for an hour and 15 minutes, I wasn't even able to share that scripture. One after another, they started talking about being in one accord. Mm -hmm. And I just listened. And, and really, I haven't shared the scripture with them yet. I will, hopefully, Sunday. But as we were uh, in praise and worship, I started reading about the Tower of Babel mm -hmm. and how <clears throat> there were a people that said in Genesis chapter 11, come let us build for ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we might make a name for ourselves. And it sounds like a lot of churches. Mm -hmm. Come let us build a church so that we might make a name for ourselves. And he goes on to say that the Lord came down and he divided their languages so that they could not do what they had set out to do because he knew, it says he, he knew that they could do whatever they set their mind to do. And on the day of Pentecost, just the opposite, they came together in one accord to seek the Lord's will and to have the Holy Spirit fall on them so that they might do his purpose mm -hmm. on earth. And so what was going on Sunday morning in my opinion, was saying that as a church, we should seek the Lord's will and ask the Holy Spirit to fall on us daily so that we can do his purpose. And then right after that, they spoke one language again. Mm -hmm. For the first time since the Tower of Babel, everyone heard in their own language. There was one language going on, even though it was in tongues. Mm -hmm. But it was because the Lord wanted them not to seek their own whatever that they might um, seek their own let me read it name for themselves but they might that we might seek a name for him so anyway that was just real interesting and to me it was like revelation and I just felt like I should share that that whoever we are you know in leadership or just as servants of Jesus, we need to seek his will and we need to be in one accord as we do it. No divisions, because if there's divisions, it's usually because you're trying to make a name for yourself. Mm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, all right. <laughs> you know, well, Mark. You know, time and time again, I mean, I have been, well, I've had about maybe 19 surgeries, you know, due to a botched surgery when I was very young. And because of that, they 
kept trying to fix me and fix me. And, you know, sometimes I think, maybe, is this it, you know? But it wasn't until I met my Savior, my healer, my deliverer, my source, my strength, my everything. And yes, it is for his purpose that he delivers us, he saves us, he sets us free. But it is for his purpose to give him glory, honor, power. I mean, and he has already, you know, gave us everything, you know. He bore it all so we wouldn't have to. All we have to do is believe, receive, and walk in his good will. I mean, he is, he's everything, constantly, Jesus, I mean, Jesus, I mean, aside from him, I dare not go, because he keeps me daily, daily, it's total dependency on him, amen. 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 All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to close this out with a word of prayer. Yeah. Father, we thank you for this evening we thank you for this time that lord we've set aside each month to uh just open the doors and invite anyone to come in that needs prayer for healing and lord we uh we know father each month it looks a little different sometimes there's a bunch and sometimes there's a few but i know each month father god as we do it that you are drawing exactly who you want to be here and so father i believe that tonight those in whom we've laid hands upon father this is a preordained uh, a destined thing that they would come forth and we pray for healing and father we thank you for the opportunity to do that just to agree and to line up with your word and what your word says and so father we thank you right now for the healings that are coming forth, Lord, because it says by your stripes we were healed, that we are healed. So we're thanking you, Father, for the healings right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, we're thanking you for the good reports that are coming right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for those that were here tonight and those that we prayed for tonight. We thank you, Father, for those that we've just been moved upon in our hearts to pray for corporately together tonight and father for whoever might be watching by streaming whoever it might be we thank you father that by your stripes we were healed and that that healing is already done and we praise you for the good report that's coming in jesus name we pray amen amen god bless